Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial today about one of the new features that Squarespace just added to the platform, and it is a really good one. So you can now duplicate blog posts and duplicate events within your website. So let me show you what I mean there. Um, we're going to use Stanford Yoga's um, site as an example here, and we're going to go down to her blog. And if you just open up a regular blog, you'll see all the different blog posts that she's written. Now, it used to be where there was no way to duplicate the formatting of any of these. You just had to start a new, a new blog with the plus sign to, to do a new post. But now you can come in and click edit on any post that you like, maybe the way it's set up or you have a video block or something um, different in there that you just want to duplicate the way that um, you have all the formatting done. And you can come down here to there's a now a duplicate button. This is brand new. So if I hit duplicate, a copy of it comes right back up. You can change the title, new post title there. You know, replace all this text with, uh, with the text that you have your new blog post, replace the image, and then hit save and publish, and then, or just hit save, whatever, just like any other new one. But um, it saves you some time reformatting if you've got different um, fonts in there, if you've got different images that you want to keep every time. Um, if you, you know, it just is a real, it's a time saver to where you can duplicate and edit and publish a brand new post. Um, it also brings over, though, um, the thumbnail image and the excerpt here. So if you're using those in your uh, blog, and you can watch my, I have a post on restyling your Squarespace blog using summary blocks. So if you're using that, you want to make sure and come change those too, because it does just duplicate the entire thing. So let's delete that one. Um, so that is cool. And I'm going to delete a copy there. Um, okay. And then the other cool thing that came with that update is you can now also duplicate events. And now this is a huge one because for this client especially, and for I know tons of other people, it, it's really, really tedious to go in and add the same event over and over and over again. So we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to go down to their events calendar, and yours might be called something different. We named this one new events, but it's the little calendar icon there. Um, and we're going to click that open. It's the same structure as a blog. So you'll see all the different events that we at one point in time had displayed on their website on a calendar. Now, they're hard to keep up with, so we haven't totally kept up with them. Um, but what you can do is you can go in, say we're going to say this is a no school day, but the business is open. So I'm just going to click on that and click edit and click duplicate. And now it's a lot easier for me to go in and say, OK, it's the same thing. I'm just going to delete the copy of, and I'm going to change the date. We're looking at the fall 2017 now. So say we're closed, this school's out that day too. And I'm going to hit Save and Publish. And now that is a new event. And you can go back to my, my calendar view. And so on my website, if we go to September there, now we've got that also as posted as um, no school, we are open. And so this one, we really we wanted that thumbnail image to stay because that's the thumbnail image we use by default on a day that that event happens. So it's a really good thing. It brings that thumbnail over too. So I just wanted to show you that really quick, that it is faster and a lot more efficient now to duplicate events on your calendar and to duplicate blog posts. So I hope that helps. I'll talk to you later.